believe in yourself. You have to believe not only that what you're doing is right, and not only that it's going to work out, but that you have the abilities to accomplish whatever goal you have for yourself. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. And it's never about how many resources you have, it's about how resourceful you are. If you look at any successful entrepreneur, if you look at how they got started, almost all of them had nothing. They're coming from nothing. They didn't have huge investors backing them from day one. They started with nothing and people told them that it wouldn't work and they found a way to make it work. That's being an entrepreneur. That's the life you have to live. You gotta believe in that. I got a great question from one of my readers, uh, Lizzie, who's on YouTube. Love you, YouTube guys. Uh, Lizzie wants to start her own online embroidery store. And she said, it's hard to find people willing to donate or help with materials I need, like sewing machines or ink presses. Do you have any advice? And I love this question from Lizzie. Because she wrote in to say, it's hard to find people willing. It's hard to find help. Not, I can't find help. And that subtle change means everything. Yeah, it's hard, but it's still possible. And if you believe that it's possible, then it will happen. You just have to go and do it. And even if you don't know how it's gonna make sense, all you see is darkness around you, you have to believe that light is at the end of the tunnel and keep going and keep finding another way. To answer this question specifically, if you need resources for your business, you need specific resources, she needs a sewing machine, there's a number of ways to start. I don't want you going out, Lizzie, and buying a sewing machine. It's not a good use of your money. I don't want you spending money until you find a way to make money. An easy way to get started, try posting on your Facebook page. I need a sewing machine. Anybody have a sewing machine I can borrow? See if anybody has something. See if anybody has a connection. Make a passionate plea, okay? And often the help comes from not the people who are closest to you, but the people who are in your network who have a connection somehow. Say what you're trying to do. So you didn't really tell me much about your business. I don't feel the passion. I don't know why you're starting this thing. I wanna feel that from you. If, when you're asking for help, you wanna make me feel something. When you're asking somebody to buy something from you, you wanna make them feel something. You're not just selling embroidered clothing. You're doing something much bigger. Share that vision with me. Make me feel it. Then I wanna help you. Then I wanna buy from you. Then I wanna tell people about you. Okay, so that's your first step, is come up with that passionate plea Post it on Facebook, ask for help, tell people what you need. If you still can't find anybody, then I go and try to find a company who has these things. Not the, man, not, the, not the sellers, not the guys who are selling sewing machines, but another manufacturer, somebody small. Because these machines probably not being used 24 hours a day. And I try to find the way to be able to go in and use their machines, either for free at a really, or at a really low cost. And again, to make that work, you have to have your passionate plea that the entrepreneur can buy into. You want to talk to the owner of that business, ideally it's a small business, and they get your story. They get what you're trying to do and they want to help out. Entrepreneurs like helping other entrepreneurs. If they see that you're motivated, that you're willing to do the hard work, that you really believe in what you're doing, they'll want to help. They'll remember back to when they were in your position, when they were getting started and nobody believed in them and nobody gave them a hand up or any advice. If you can make them feel that, then they'll give you everything you need. Maybe it's coming in off hours, weekends, whatever it is. Test it out. Make sure you're able to make some money from this business, selling your clothing. And if it's working out, if people love your stuff, then you have money to go out and buy your own machines. It's a great mentality you have here. You're starting small, you're building up, you're testing it out, you're making sure it works, and then invest back into your company. What's missing is that big picture vision, the passion. That's what's going to help convince people to follow you, to be part of this, to feel like they're doing something special and they're helping somebody out. Good luck. Belief. For those of you watching, you like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. I also love to hear what you have to think. Please leave a comment, anything you want to say about this video, or if you have a question for your own company, leave it in the comment section below and I will make a video response for you. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.